Hey everyone, it's John Grimm of Grimm Swords and Knives, and today we're going to be talking about this Legend of Zelda Link Master Sword replica. First thing you might notice is that this sword is a little small. And that's one of the main things I want to focus on, because a lot of people might be buying this, I know myself included, <clears throat> thinking that it might be close to a life-size version of Link's Master Sword. And, uh... That's what happens when you don't read the description of something, you just you just read the title where it might, may or may not say something like Full Steel Construction, and then you see that it's about $20, which there are stores for about that price. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, this, this is really small. As you notice, the entire hilt that should be good for two hands barely fits in one hand. And the other thing I want to talk about is just objectively what you're getting. So jumping right into this. Uh, let's do measurements, blade length from where you can actually cut, you're looking at 5 and 7 8 inches. Handle, handle length from where you can actually hold it, you're looking at 2 and 7 8 inches, excuse me. And overall length, about 11 inches exactly, maybe a little bit longer comes with a plastic sheath, very plastic. If you include the length of the blade with the sheath, then it is 11 and a half inches. It's a very small dagger, and even if you were to use this as a, as a dagger, you wouldn't be able to because it's like missing half a handle in both length and width. You can't, you can't really do anything. So fortunately, mo uh, the entire blade and handle, handle guard, pommel, all of this is steel know how well you can tell by hearing that but it's all steel this sheath is plastic but it does hold on nicely it won't come off but it does rattle uh, the, the paint job on the handle is slightly lackluster so well I can show this off there we go paint is chipping it looks kind of scratched there are some spots where it might look kind of faded like in these corners right in here. It's a very lackluster job. For about $17, you kind of want to expect more, because you can buy decent quality knives for $17. CRKT Squid as an example, although not as large. They don't say what the steel is, but I'm just gonna assume that it's 440A made in China, because one, it says China. So we can assume that it's a Chinese knife, obviously. And it's very cheap, soft steel. Easily bendable, no distal taper on this sword, which means that you can give it a really nice edge, but it won't last you anything. Speaking of edges, you can very clearly see, plain as day, that this has no edge. It's just completely unsharpened. It's like a solid one and a half, maybe two sixteenths thick on the edge. In terms of point, it's literally flattened at the tip, there's no point. Details on the handle are meh. From far away they might look nice, but once you get nice and close up, you can see all of the little imperfections and flaws. I do like the Ricasso area, I mean, it looks slightly accurate depending on which game you're basing it off of. And it just looks nicely done, I kind of like the little emblem that it has there. But yeah guys, uh, that's what I have to say on this sword main thing you should take away is that you're not getting a full sword, you're going to be getting a really scaled down replica where you have a blade of about 6 inches, a little bit shorter, a handle of about 3 inches, a little bit shorter, it's a very small thing, very cheap steel used. Construction on the actual sword itself is nice because it is full steel, has a nice weight to it. It's a good wall hanger piece, it's a good show piece, it's not good for any sort of practical reason. Uh, that's what I have to say on it. If you're interested in this as um, just a wall hanger piece or just a piece for looks, there will be a link in the description. You can check it out on Amazon. It's going to, like I said, cost you about $17, $18. And yeah, guys, that's that's what I have today. It's John Grimm of Grimm Swords and Knives. Hope this video made you a little less grim. Bye, guys.